show yeah. up every night too. Tony, I got to have a nice day there tomorrow. <laughs> we do. We've got uh, some sunshine. Uh, still a bit on the cool side, but we're going to keep things dry and uh, comfortable. Eventually, getting closer to 50 by tomorrow afternoon. So we're inching in the right direction. These are live pictures from Providence over the Providence River. A Chilly, quiet night under clear skies. Most locations now around or just below freezing. 31 Smithfield, Providence, Newport, 32, upper 20s to low 30s, southeastern Mass. Many of us getting down to the mid and upper 20s overnight early tomorrow morning. So it's not unusual to have, you know, the late nights be pretty chilly, at least during the early spring season. But the afternoons tend to be obviously a lot better. 34 in Cumberland. And so we'll start off cold tomorrow morning. Should jump to 50 by tomorrow afternoon. Smithfield now coming in at 34. So another chilly night, still that much advertised warming trend on the way, especially for Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and part of Sunday. Sunday still has a cold front approaching, more than likely bringing rain showers the second half of the day. So Sunday starts dry. Towards the end of the day, we'll get some rain showers. Skies are clear all across New England and really the eastern third of the country. And the reason why, one and two. High-pressure cells, fair weather systems, keeping things quiet. On the back side of these high-pressure cells, the wind tends to be more uh, south and southwest. That is a milder wind direction. So while we have the shades of blue on top of us indicating the chilly weather, where you have those southwesterly breezes, you see temperatures 50s and 60s. So some of this milder air headed our way. A smidge for tomorrow afternoon, but really noticeable uh, come Friday and especially by Saturday afternoon. Getting real close, we'll walk you through the uh, forecast hour by hour overnight tonight under clear skies. Temperatures dropping through the 20s. 6 o'clock in the morning, upper 20s to low 30s. Another day with lots of sunshine and temperatures during the afternoon, upper 40s to around 50. The average high is 52, so we're closer to average and really a comfortable day. Now note the cloud cover tomorrow night. This is good because it'll actually keep the temperatures up. Tomorrow night, not not nearly as cold will be in the lower 40s. So cold start tomorrow morning at sunrise, which is now at 636 in the morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s to start, but a rapid recovery in the afternoon, uh, upper 40s to around 50 by 2, 3 o'clock with mainly sunny skies. All right, seven-day forecast. There it is. Okay, you see, even though we have extra clouds on Friday, it is a milder day. We're getting temperatures in the upper 50s, but it will be cooler along the coastline. Small, small chance of a, of a rain shower in the morning, but Friday is mainly dry. The warmer day, clearly Saturday, now 63. But keep in mind, the milder, the warmer temperatures are very location dependent. You really have got to be inland away from the ocean to get the 60 degree temperatures with the wind off the water, the sea breeze. It's still nice along the coastline, but it's almost 10 to 15 degrees cooler. Places like Westerly Narragansett, half and half Sunday. It's a mild day at 58, starting off dry Sunday morning. We'll bring in some rain showers by Sunday afternoon. That'll eventually turn the air cooler by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So nice day on the cool side. And then uh, temperatures a little better for Friday and especially uh, Saturday afternoon. But again, away from the coastline, the warmer air. All right. Thank you, Tony. Coming up next on Iowa.